start it. Wait until I close the door. Okay. Hello, welcome my kings and queens to the One in a Million show once again. I am so excited that you all choose to spend a portion of your Saturday with me. Um, today I do have a topic for us and this topic I know that we hear about this a lot but I just wanted to go more more into it in depth um, in regards to the Bible how it relates to this but the title is trusting the process um, <clears throat> this is actually something that I can testify to as well I always like to talk about things that I've experienced and can give that um, experience to you all and, and what I felt and how I went through those type of uh, seasons and periods in my life. Um, so first, you know, I always have to give you a word um, far as what word we're going to define. So the word we're going to define today is process. Um, and just a general defini definition for it, it is a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. So in other words, it is a process of going through steps, going through whatever stages you have to go through to get to your final destination. So that is ultimately what a process is. So I wanted to um, go more towards uh, Genesis here. And I studied this passage for myself some time ago. Um, maybe it was in the beginning of this year in January um, about this particular passage. We're going to be reading from Genesis 20. And that's good. I'm sorry. Uh, Genesis 21. Uh, 1 through verse 1 through verse 7. So it's a short passage, but it's very powerful and um, I just advise anyone, if you can, if you want to read the whole story, you can read the whole chapter 21 um, and a little bit before uh, Genesis chapter 21. That whole, the whole Genesis is really just vital. But I just want us to focus mainly on this one because of our topic today, which is trusting the process. So, <clears throat> I want to pose this question first, and then I'll get into the scripture. Has there ever been a time that, that you can think of, even now, or maybe in the past, that there was something that you really wanted to happen? There was something that you were waiting on God to do on your behalf. There was something that you just seemed to feel like it took so long for it to happen, and you had to wait. But when it finally did happen, it happened right on time. It happened so smooth. It was almost as if it was just a seamless transition to where you needed to get to. That's what I want to talk about today because um, some months ago, I'll say to be exact, let's see, about seven months ago, I had went through a hard transition that I had to accept. Um, but now looking back, at that time, it was no way that I was ready to receive what I was asking for, um, asking for God to do for me at that time. It was no way that I was ready for that. Um, but I want to go ahead and read the scripture. We're going to talk about the scripture, and then I'll give a brief uh, explanation of what I had went through in that period. So again, reading from Genesis chapter 21, 1, 1 through verse 7, it says, and the Lord visited Sarah, as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah, as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son, who was born to him, whom Sarah bore to him, Isaac. Then Abraham circumcised his son Isaac when he was eight days old, as God had commanded him. Now Abraham was 100 years old when his son Isaac was born to him. And Sarah said, God has made me laugh 
and all who hear will laugh with me. She also said, who would have to, who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse children for I have borne him a son in his old age. This passage is so significant because if you read prior to this chapter, um, obviously those who are familiar with the story, uh, Sarah had trouble receive, uh, conceiving, so she couldn't bear children. And that was something that she really wanted from the Lord. And um, at this present time, what I just read, at this point, they're in their hundreds, very old. So just imagine trying to have a child at that age. Um, you know, now looking at it from this standpoint, people will say that's not medically possible that that can happen. They having a baby at a hundred something years old at that old age, but God. And I say that this is so significant because. It took a long time for this to happen, obviously for uh, Sarah and Abraham at this time, um, also known as Sarai, before their names changed, and Abraham, uh, <coughs> Abram, at this time. Uh, and when she had got revelation that she was going to have a child, she had laughed. And in this previous chapter, um, the Lord heard her laugh, and then she, like, denied it, saying, like, she didn't laugh. So she basically was laughing, like, how, me have a child at old age? Like, yeah, right. But God proved her wrong in this chapter, even though it happened so late. So my whole point of this is, a lot of times we ask for things um, at different stages in our life, and we may not get it at that exact time, or we may not get it when we want it to, but God will give us those things when the time is right, when it's destined to be right. And we have to have patience. We have to, we have to trust that whatever we're asking God for, um, at that time, we may not get it at the time that we like, we may not come in a form that we may like, but whatever happens, it's the way God intended it to happen. Does that make sense? So, just real quick, I want to um, share an encouraging story with you all. Um, some months ago, I had a, well, seven months ago, I had applied for a position at my job. Um, it's uh, like an assistant supervisor position. And I had a great interview. I I felt that I did everything right. Um, I answered questions correctly. I uh, had took um, like a test too. It was like to see what my knowledge was during the uh, interview process. And I think I got a few wrong, but when we reviewed it, I knew the answer right then and there. So it was like, I kind of didn't miss it. It was like, kind of like a rush thing. Um, but anyway, just, you know, going through the whole process, we're going back to the process again. You know, when you Going through applying for a position, you have to go through the application process. You have to go through the interview process. You have to go through the waiting game, waiting to see if you get the position. You have to go through all these stages to see if they want to move forward with you. And, you know, it took so long for me to hear back. And I was just like wondering, like, well, God, you know, it's taking a long time. The interview went really great. I got good feedback after the interview um you know I feel like I'm doing everything right at this time my uh my stats are looking good right now um at job at my job so I'm to me I'm like everything should be okay I should be able to go ahead and you know go on with this process but uh come to find out I end up not getting that position so now that I think back at that time, I w it was no way I was ready for that position at that time. And I'm glad I didn't get it at that time. So I applied last month for the same position. Um, and I ended up getting it. And I was just so happy. And around this time, I'm definitely ready for it. So it just goes to show you that even when we ask for something and we feel like, man, this is the perfect time. This is the perfect time. Like, God, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. God 
may not give it to you at that time because you may not be ready. That may not be the season he wants you to receive that blessing. And that was the whole revelation that I had got from it. You know, not even with that, it's just so many things in my life where I thought I was ready for something. And then it comes to find out like, oh, once it's over, it's like, now I see exactly why that did not happen at that time. So, like, but God is just so uh, funny and strategic on what he does and how he does it in our lives. Uh, <clears throat> I went through a lot of, and, and during the waiting period, when you are waiting for God to do something, you do a lot of self-doubt. You do a lot of overthinking. You Ultimately, you are not trusting God. And I had to think of it in that point of view is because, you know, if I ask God to do something for me, whether it goes my way or not, um, whatever the outcome is, I know that it's, it's going the way that God intended to go. So there's a reason that from years ago, I didn't go get those positions that I applied for four or five years ago from jobs I really wanted to go to because each job that I've had God had me set at these places for specific reasons to gain specific trainings uh to be around certain people for certain amount of years for certain reasons and sometimes we don't know until those seasons are up and it's like wow <laughs> I know exactly why I was in that season at that time. I know exactly why God didn't allow that to happen for me. And it's not that God don't want you to have it or God don't feel that you deserve it. Um, sometimes it simply just may be because it's not our time. And I learned so much, um, even with still going through this process at my job, it was... Uh, it helped me see things in the in the spiritual realm to where, you know, even sometimes we may think that we're so prepared to do all of these tasks and we say, Well God, I'm I'm so prepared, I've I've done this, I've done that, I know I can do it. Um, when it's like you still got a whole lot of pre preparation to go through. Um always using this radio thing as an example, you know, it's something I've always wanted to do, but if I would have done it two years ago or tried to do it two years ago, I completely would have wouldn't have been ready. I wouldn't have been in the right space, um, spiritually, mentally, you know, all of those things uh you know, take place or matter. Um and I just <laughs> It's just it's just so funny thinking about all of this because time really plays a important part with God. Timing is everything and sometimes when we like to have our own little personal clocks, it's like we want this to happen on this time, do it on this day, I wanna achieve this on that day, I wanna get married at this age, I wanna graduate with my degree, um but then we have certain circumstances that happen in life that give us detours and doesn't mean that we're not gonna you know, accomplish those things, but God just simply have a different timeline for us than what we think <laughs> and what we have in mind. So my whole point is to encourage you all to just trust God timing. Don't rely on your own. Whatever you have in mind that you want to happen, it'll happen exactly when God wants it to happen. So don't rush God because his timing is perfect and just trust the process. See you all next Saturday, and thank you for tuning in to the One in a Million show. Bye.